When they came to us and asked us to work on the very first season of MVNU Bachelorette, I, we really couldn't be more excited. It's a really tough world out there, and we really had the potential to build some absolutely riveting entertainment to show our MVNU audience and give them something they had never seen before. Really, with MVNU's two girls to every guy ratio, this show should have been slated as the MVNU Bachelor and not The Bachelorette. But for the first time in NVNU's history, we have a special chance to see what it would be like for every girl not just to have two guys, but have 18 guys to pick from. And it's a really special experience. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your new NVNU Bachelorette, Madison P. Madison was really the perfect candidate for the opening of this show. I agree. Madison's personality and hobbies embody so many of the things we love to see in MVNU students. She's relatable, she connects to our male and female audiences in just such a special way. We can really see how so many of our guy contestants said they would love to spend the rest of their lives with her. This was such a special and real and authentic and genuine experience. When they asked me to be on the show, I knew in that moment my chances at a ring by spring had gone up exponentially. Really, I just couldn't be more excited to have my shot and be the very best first MVNU Bachelorette. Such a cool opportunity to really thrive. We were really able to capture the emotion and the tension of the show, mainly thanks to the fantastic male contestants we found who were willing to be on the show. My name's Jordan, I'm from San Diego. I'm a sports management major. Shout out to all my sports management homies out there. You know who you are. When they asked me to be on The Bachelorette, they were like, we need a super hot dude to come in and win it all. And I'm like, yo, I didn't even know we had a bachelorette. So yeah. We got the chance to work with so many young men from wildly different backgrounds. And more importantly, vastly different backstories. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Cinnamon. I'm a monkey bars major from Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> Uh, well, as you probably could have guessed, I'm here to find love. <laughs> uh, see, when I was in high school, I was dating this really, really hot girl named Parker, right? But then she told me that she was actually a, like, a guy the whole time, like the entire day we were dating. So I told him he, he could just go die for, for lying to me. <laughs> But here I am today. And then some had no, seemingly no backstory at all. What's up? We certainly had some heroic and inspiring stories to show you this season. What up? My name's Ben Benton. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, I'm I'm basically a big thing. I'm the king of the land. Yeah, uh, what up? Oh yeah, <laughs> I started from the bottom and then I fought, fought to the top. Ladies, it's your lucky day. You have the chance to have Madison P. as your wife someday. And tomorrow is your first date. Madison's in the water, and metaphorically, the piranhas are nibbling. Do you even hood, bro? Oh, I know that I am hood. Prove it. Ah! Well, it looks like uh, that was a turn of events. It was super special to get to work with so many vibrant personalities striving after the same goal. It's also really fun working with these guys when they want to integrate some of their talents to really shine through on the show. So, my name is Brandon. I'm the Worship and Music Ministry guy. I cannot wait to meet this Bachelorette contestant and really just journey with her in this experience. I'm looking for a strong connection for sure, and music might be my favorite way to do that. And I'm 21, and at this point in my life, I'm just really desperate for someone. I'd be a good, good father. It's who I'd be. It's who I'd be. It's who I'd be. And I'd love our kids. I know I would. I know I would. Baby, you look like a maybe. 
You could be my baby. Maybe. Hey guys, I'm I'm Trevor. I'm an undeclared major, but uh, my true passion is, is with my team. Uh, me and the boys just go through such difficult training to become one as a team, as a unit. Uh, my parents left me. Well, I mean, they, they wouldn't come to school with me. Uh, it's just weird not playing in a basement anymore. Um, you know, when I sit next to a window, it's, it's like it's roasting me alive. Uh, my whole life has been a struggle to level up and skirt the jaws of death. But today, today I'm going to win. No! 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 Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! Just your thumb, you're gonna live. You don't understand. You're not nearly as complicated as I am. You know, I'm just here to make a friend. I wish the best of luck to these guys, but I do hope she chooses me. Whoever she picks is fine, but I'm not gonna pressure her into anything. So they take them out one by one, so she has to choose me. Yes, folks, this season of The Bachelorette certainly had its challenges. It was honestly like fighting an uphill battle sometimes. But we are excited to show you a sneak peek of this riveting and heartwarming tale from the NBNU Bachelorette this season. We would like to thank you for watching this from the bottom of our hearts, and we hope you enjoy this short preview. Mass and P, it's time for you to choose your bachelor.